Lavina Tandon, foreign correspondent for India Today. Lavina, thanks so much for joining us. Um, the farmers have got a lot of support within India and around the world. Why is the government not backing down? Because you know, there is a clear worry for, for small farmers in particular that they're going to lose their jobs, lose their land, lose everything. Indeed, uh, Geeta, and that's a, a huge worry for the country and should be for the Prime Minister as well, who has to fight an election uh, as well. So if I put the government point of view, and this is not my point of view, it is the government point of view, uh, and they say that mainly the farmers, we have spoken to the farmers, and the farmers are asking for the law to be repealed. And that's one thing that the government says they do not want to do because if they set a precedent of a farm of any law being repealed after it's been passed in the parliament then of course if this sets a precedent and then there are so many laws that various a set of people would not be happy with and they can uh, protest likewise so that's their point of view They're, they say they are ready for amendments we are ready for suspension but there that what we cannot repeal the law and that's where i feel the deadlock really is and well, what's about, what's the, about the, the government say that they are still going to keep the minimum payments to the farmers so why is that enough not enough to protect farmers in the future why, why are they still worried the farmers are worried that this msp uh, which really affects the three major regions that are uh, protesting the Western UP, Haryana, as well as Punjab. Uh, they say that uh, this should be made legal. This should be a part of the law. And that's not the situation it never was. And there so needs to be guaranteed. Can yes, I just ask you one a legal guarantee. A legal yeah. guarantee. Final question, if I can. Um, there have been some you know, criticism that these protests are not throughout India, they're just in, mostly in Punjab, whereas that these protest movements that might have started off as genuine worries by farmers have been sort of infiltrated um, and given extra legs by Khalistani separatist organisers, international money flooding in, that want to destabilise politically the current government. Is there any evidence of that? Is there any truth in that? There is definitely this government line that not not only all the tweets that have come from various celebrities, there has been a tweet war, but also the money has been coming from countries like China and Pakistan. This is what the government can say it's been turned into Palestine movement, but that's really degrading the movement and it's very unfair to the farmers because farmers have come and said that we have nothing to do with Palestine. This is our livelihood and our lives. But yes, there has been a huge uh, there there's always has been here in the UK as well, the Khalistan movement, here in the Canada, the Khalistan movement, all of that is being funded by Pakistan, has been a huge line. There has been underlying evidence, but not something that has come up uh, to for us to be uh, saying it out loud. But this is definitely a government line, but it's unfair if we, uh, if we color the whole farmer movement with Khalistan movement, because they, they are absolutely and totally different and separate no Palestine movement in there, really. Okay, very happy to speak to you, Lavina Tandon from India today. Thank you very much indeed for your time today. Thank you.